Limeglass recently reintroduced the old school quote unquote the GSP blanks. Uh, they're available, the 121M and 132M Correct. are going to be available. Uh, we already did the video on Lou was talking about what he likes, how did they do them, why, what's the reason behind bringing them back, and all that. So you can see that in this video. There's a link right here. But right now, we're going to do some testing with uh, four ounce weight, a four, four and a half ounce weight to see the recovery. And we're also going to hang some weights off the tip to see the difference in a bend between the two rods. Correct. All Correct. right. Yep. So let's get to it. How you doing, guys? I'm Zeno Roman. I, as you know, Lou is a uh, rod guru for Surfcasters Journal. Um, I'm glad to see this rod uh, come back. I, I've been fishing it for a long time. It is the sloppiest rod I ever used, and it's probably the best all round rod I ever used. Um, we always, over the years, you know, there's so many rods coming for specific application. The fast action rod, the, the, the slow ones, the distance rod, the Mexico rod, the Montauk rod. I always felt like we kind of got away from one all-around rod to more specific rods for specific applications. Bringing this back, it's almost like you can go back and recommend this rod to a customer who just wants to have one really good rod. Correct, correct. Yeah. The thing was, um, the rod's always been great. I mean, even the last 11 years, the rod's been good. The place where it failed is when you had a good, powerful wind in your face. Um, you know, you couldn't punch. You couldn't punch a bucktail out into the wind. You couldn't punch a plug out into the wind. It just didn't want to go. Um, now with this, for the rod that it is, the best all-around rod, you know, that you want to really beat up. Now it, it, it's back. It'll do everything now. I felt always about this rod, and I told you this before, and I said this on video. I mean, this rod will do everything you ask for it from eight ounces of lead to one ounce. It won't do nothing perfect. It will do everything well. This is in comparison to some of these newer rods, which don't do... 90% things well, but the one thing that they do well, they do really well. Correct. We were discussing before, unfortunately, we didn't put a play on the camera, <laughs> so we're doing this over. Uh, when I bought my first rod, uh, I think it was a St. Croix legend, I went down to the beach, and, and it was it won all these awards, and I thought I had this missile casting thing, and, and I'm down in Jones Beach, and I make a cast, and it goes like 60 feet, and second cast goes 62 feet, and the third cast, I tried real hard, and went like 40 feet, and I'm going, what's going on here but the, there is a learning curve to learning going from a slow action or moderate to a fast action rod now this rod you could do it, it's forgiving on your cast if you don't know how to cast if you like to cast sideways if you like to if you're a sloppy caster like myself you can do a lot of stuff with this rod which you cannot do with these newer rods correct correct so that's the great part about bringing this back the other thing is and i said this before if I fell with any other rod, as many times as I fell with this rod in Montauk over the past 20 years, I would have, in my opinion, broke that rod a million times. I can't prove it. it my point is it's very forgiving. It, it's, it, it bends well. It holds, you know, structurally, it's a really good rod. Yes, yes. Some of the other ones, um, you get the least little nick or scratch in it um, at some point in the future. May not be today, may not be tomorrow, but some point that rod is liable to let go. Soon as you make the least little mistake, they're so unforgiving that if everything isn't perfect with them, it's going to let go in that spot. Um, the other thing is with this rod, and I've said, said it a million times, don't be picking up fish on a rock. Everybody still does it. Everybody, yeah, everybody still says they does. don't do it until they come watch the videos that we do and then go that the rods bend like this. 
Yeah. And guys, oh, that's a nice picture. That's a nice picture just before it snapped. Right, right. Either before it snaps or the next time you go out and cast and forget that you've done all that internal damage and then it snaps. Then it's the rod's fault. You forget that you were up there. You mentioned something before too. Uh, you fished with it and you kind of got tired of it. Not tired of the rod, tired in comparison to what you've been using. I, I kind of want to mention, just so people are aware of it, bringing this rod back, this is not a new rod with a new concept graphite. It's still the same old, good old GSB that we like. If you don't, if you're used to your newer, crispier rod and you take this, what's going to happen? Uh, you're probably going to be disappointed at first, think that the rod is, is junk, because you can really have to work with this rod. Um, like any GSB that's ever been, it's more work. It takes more to cast it. It takes more to load it. Um, a lot of guys, what happened was, as you said, a lot of guys got these new rods and they're loading it on a back cast. And you're taking away from the, the action of the rod. With this, it's going to be forgiving. If you if you one of these guys that really has to lay into a rod no matter what, and you can't get away from it, and there are guys like that, um, then this rod is perfect. I know a guy, speaking of and we'll, we'll do the video how to properly cast a fast action rod versus the moderate, because we haven't done that, and somebody mentioned it. But I have a guy in my club who likes to bury his plug into the water behind him, yeah. okay? With, he buries the plug, and I have pictures and video where he just yanks the rod out of the water. It builds the rod ridiculously, okay? And he tried all these new rods, and he keeps going back to He's like, all these other rods suck. That's, that's, this rod is perfect for that kind of a cast. Right, right, right. Um, absolutely. And again, does it do anything perfect? No. Does it do everything well? Yes. No, that's... And that's the thing. That's the thing. If, you, if you're looking for a rod that you're going to be able to take to the beach over here and not worry about it, you're going to go to Montauk, not worry about it. This might be something you want well, to listen, look for. Well, listen, for a lot of guys, first of all, the rods are not cheap these days. Second of all, listen, I mean, if you were dating a girl that you want to marry and she cooks one thing well and 90 things not well, and you get one that cooks everything just about right, hey. uh, I go for that. I'm in. Anytime. I'm in. <laughs> um, all right, so tell, tell me about the weighting, because we're going to make a few casts with like around four ounces. And, and again, I mentioned this before, I use these blanks with an eight ounces of lead, not that I recommend, and bunker, and I used it with a one ounce or three quarter ounce bucktail in Montauk. Obviously the casting distance wasn't, you know, the, 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 the main focus. Why around four ounces? What, what, what are we looking for? In the past, in the last couple of years, with these, the newer blanks that have been out, um, four ounces, four and a half, seems to be a folding point for these. Um, I have found anyway, some guys say no. Um, I found that four to four and a half seems to be a folding point. So what we're going to do, I have a four ounce tin and a four and a half ounce tin. And Gargantua here is going to cast it because he loads the rod a lot better than I do. So it'll be a perfect test. And we'll, we'll see how it does. First time we're actually doing this. So I don't know. I can't say one way or the other how it's going to react. But we're going to see on film. Okay, let's do it. All right, we're on up here with a four ounce weight. Uh, Lou is trusting my cast more than his. I have no idea why, don't ask me. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to try to give him a good cast. Uh, why are we doing the four ounces again? Uh, four ounces has always been a, a t in the past, um, maxing out, if you will, four, four and a quarter. To get that solid cast where you feel like you control the rod. Right. I mean, obviously you cast 10 ounces, it's just, it's a Right, lot. right. You, you'll feel like you're in control, that it's not so sloppy, that, that you're not getting the distance you should be getting, or you're not accurate as you should be. Okay. To that point. So I'll, I'll make a cast and you'll be looking at the recovery of the rod and, and the way the rod bends. And correct, see, see correct. What goes on. Okay. Yeah. In the past, I, I fished with it at night um, by myself, so I didn't get an opportunity to actually look at the rod to see. Just and this we'll, morning, I haven't cast at a GSP in five or something years or more. And we'll also be looking at the recovery. Oh God, I'm going to kill someone in Connecticut and I'm going to get stuck with a guy on a pier <laughs> again. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty impressive cast. 
pretty impressive cast. Um, recovery was amazing. I'm very, very surprised, pleasantly surprised um, that the recovery was so quick on this. We're gonna make another cast just for the hell of it. I'm sorry if I'm cranking up a little too fast, but last time we tried this with a current, we got caught with a guy all the way at the tip of the pier. Uh, that's why I wasn't saying nothing. Wow, I mean, I haven't casted this rod in a long time, but uh, damn, that's some cast. And I'm not a good caster, as any of you know it all. At least I keep telling you that. I'm gonna try to do one more cast, have a little look at what's going on with the tip. Wow. And again, uh, that recovery is for four ounces. Um, we'll take that off, we'll put on four and a half and see okay. how that does. I may get really ambitious and go get a six ounce sinker just for the hell of it. Um, yeah. Just to see. Uh, listen, I mean, I don't know. I, six ounce sinker, you says, oh, it recovers pretty well. Next thing you know, everybody's going to be casting a six ounce sinker. No, it's not. Six ounce plus. I mean, if you, if you were using one of those, let's just say uh, Gary Soldati plugs. Uh, you know, That's what I was going to say, a big water. Right, big water plugs. This thing will handle it. Right, this right. This will handle it. I, I mean, I've done it over the years, and I've done a lot of rig deal fishing with these rods. Which are, you know, 18, 20 ounce rig deals are not that light. So, what do you got? You got four and a half there? Yeah, I got a four and a half. We'll try that. Right Let's see what, what happens. Oh, you know, worst comes to worst, we can put four and four and a half together and just make a nine and a half. <laughs> we can always throw eight and bait. All right. <laughs> well, there's plenty of bait here, by the way. There's a ton of, it looks like peanut bunker flashing. Right oh, it's, a, it's unbelievable right well, we'll now. Never catch a fish or any one of our tests that, that but but it's not windy as hell look that's so correct go. yeah there's just it's enough so breeze there. to keep right. the mosquitoes so I got away a four and a half ounce here and lou is going to uh watch the recovery and how it loads up all right one more cast here yeah wow <laughs> why well, didn't even budge <laughs> Is the, I, I am really, really surprised. I'm going to uh, slow down a little bit the video so the guys can see what you are actually surprised about because it, it happens in split second where you know you can't right. really see what happened. But tell me what you're surprised about. Um, the recovery, the rod's not after the cast. In the past on a, on a GSB, you get this on your tip. And while your line is going out and this is going on, you're losing distance. You're creating friction, and you're losing distance. The recovery is is pretty amazing, pretty amazing. And I think a lot of that has to do two things. First off, the build itself is we built this concept, of course. Um, that's what I like. A lot of guys don't like it, but I happen to like a concept build. Lighter guides, lighter tip, and with the new materials they are using in there, I think that has a lot to do with it. Time. Go ahead. I think Houston called. They want their <laughs> rocket back. You know, I missed this rod. <laughs> now, now, see that you, you have it in your hands. Yeah, yeah, it by brings now back. Later, be like, oh, yeah, know. that's the thing. I do miss you know, this um, it, it, you can see it's a shame you can't see the distance he's getting. Um, I'm sure that. This is going to prove most interesting on an open beach. Um, hopefully, we get some sand deals this year. Yes, I it hope could. So. This would be an interesting rod the way it is right now um, on an open beach. Now, tell me uh, your other tests that you have uh, uh, that you wanted to do, uh, and has to do something with the weights and the bend. Yeah, we're just gonna. Um, what I'm going to do is take the two rods, the uh, original that I built, the pre-2005 and this rod here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both those rods and I'm just going to hang some weight off the tip and we'll, it'll give us the opportunity to actually see what those tips look like. Okay, the let's do that. The size 12 versus size 11. Okay. okay, what I'm doing here is I've taken the new prototype in my left hand and the original pre-2005 and I put the same amount of weight on and I want to pick them up and let the weight hang on both of them to see what the bend looks like. And as I'm putting pressure on them, 
you can see the bends on both of these rods as I go to pick them up are identical. You could see I was saying that the tip is a little softer on the newer blank versus the old. You could see more of a bend in it. I'm sure you can, I'm pretty sure you could pick that up. But yet the midsection back here, she tightens right up. So what happens here is you got kind of the best of both worlds, you sort of casting ability, yet you still have the backbone. Um, Lamy did a very, very, very good job of duplicating what they had. This rod appears to be a home run right now. Thank you. 